To analyze the given algorithm, we need to know with which inputs and the algorithm takes less time, like performing well for the less time, and which input the algorithm take a long time. We have already seen that the algorithm can be represented in the form of an expression. That means that we represent the algorithm with multiple expressions. One for the case where it takes less time and the other for the case where it takes more time. In general, the first case is called the best case. So, the best case that algorithm takes the least time. Okay. And the second case is called the worst case for the algorithm. To analyze an algorithm, we need some kind of syntax that forms the base of for asymptotic, asymptotic analysis or notation. There are three types of analysis. The worst case, the best case, and the average case. Okay? So the worst case de defines the input for uh, which the algorithm takes a long time. This is the slowest time to complete. This is the worst case scenario. Input is one of uh, one for which the algorithm runs the slowest. Okay, so worst case where the computer or the algorithm need many time uh, need the longest time or the slowest time in the to be completed. The best case defines the input for which the algorithm takes the least time. This is the fastest time to complete. So the best case is the algorithm that takes the least time to be accomplished, okay? Average case provides a prediction about the running time of the algorithm. Run the algorithm many times using many different inputs that came or come from some distribution that generates, that generates these input. Compute the total running time and divide by the number of trials. Assume that the input is random. So this will vary uh, according uh, to the input and the generated things. And the average time, uh, the average case is, um, is, or the average time is varying between the low lower bound and the upper bound. So the upper bound correspond to the worst case and the lower bound represents the best case. For example, if you have an algorithm that can, uh, uh, you write it to be accomplished in one second, so the lower bound would be one second, and you can make another algorithm that performs the same action in 10 seconds. So the lowest, uh, the least time is one second, so it is the lower bound. And the upper bound, which is the worst case, is 10 seconds. The average time is between 1 and 10 seconds, okay, for other algorithms. So the worst case is 10 seconds, and the, the best case is 1 second, okay? In the same way, for a given algorithm, we can represent the best, worst, and the average cases in form of expression. As an example, let f of n be the function which represents the given algorithm. So f of n that have n squared plus 500 is the worst case the, uh, compared with the f of n that have n plus 100n plus 500. Similarly, for the average case, the expression defines the input in which the algorithm takes the average running time or memory. Remember, as n order, the n or the order of n in the function increase, the worsening or the or the uh, like the algorithm uh, speed to be executed will be decreased. So, as we move in the order of n. And when we increase the order of n, like n to power one, n to power two, n to power three, the worst the algorithm is going to be. Okay, as n order decreased, the algorithm 
uh, the algorithm uh, performance and execution is increased. Okay, so the least and order the best algorithm you 